It's going to be a quick walkthrough on how to launch Steam from Kodi. The instructions do differ ever so slightly from the 13.2 and earlier installs. So anything named XBMC that's not going to work, those you need to follow the instructions found here. The reason I have this open, you don't need to do this, you'll be wasting your time, is to show you that, and again, I, I wiped all my stuff. This is going to be a from the jump install. Alright, so we don't see the word Steam here. That's all I'm showing here. So I'm going to go ahead and quit out of this because I'm going to be moving files around. All you need to do, and again, this is going to be for the 13.2 and below, and the instructions do, they are consistent for the most part, but they do differ, and I'll let you know when that happens. So Steam Launcher here, you're going to click on that. We need to go to TDOV's repository. TDOV's repository, download zip. I'm not going to go through all the instructions, but Basically, you, you can Google TDub, and it sounds like it is spelled TDubs. You can see this, I hope. Either way, GitHub link there, and then the GitHub link in the bottom right, download zip. When you download zip, just move it to your desktop or something. I'm not going to do it because it takes a minute. So here's your downloaded zip on the right there. Just uh, right click on it, 7-zip, whatever. Extract here. Honestly, you don't need to do any of that, and I did not mean to open that. Go ahead and double click on your file. You have a bunch of files here, right? All you need is this top one repository to see about Tito. So you're going to download the repository, unzip the repository, and this is where the instructions vary because otherwise you go in through Kodi uh, and install from zip, but we're not going to do that because you don't need to do that. What you need to do is you need to open this file here, which you can see the path. This PC, and I'll go ahead and open another Windows folder. So it's going to be Windows C drive for users. Your name. You need to view hidden files. App data. Romy. We're going to look for the word Cody. And there it is. Add ons. Now we're going to look for nothing. We're just going to put it here. Repository.tdub. Remember, that's all I said. Move that over. Only thing you really need in here are the, or is the XML file and the PNG file. In fact, I don't even think you need that. You definitely don't need the zip files, but you can leave them. Because I don't like to mess with stuff when it works. You know, I'm not trying to create some problems. So now we're opening up Kodi. You remember not seeing the word Steam there earlier. Well, now we're going to go to Programs, Get More. Steam, install, and you can actually hop through some options for Steam. You can keep Kodi running in the background if you want it to be more seamless, but uh, you know, Kodi uses resources, so I say just designate them to Steam. This is not the machine I run all this off of. Again, I think I've mentioned that, but it's just not going to perform the way I necessarily want it to either way, so you can launch it. And all I'm showing is that it works. Ah, Steam Big Picture Mode. I should specify that. The cool thing about this, opposed to like Advanced Launcher or another solution such as that, is that it will relaunch Kodi when you are done. And probably minimize, because I had it minimized, I believe. Yes. There, either way, you toggle it. That's how you launch Steam from Kodi. Give me a holler if you have any questions.